Hey guys, what's going on? It's your boy Colony, and guys, tonight is the night, hopefully before Madden 22 drops tomorrow, if you do have EA Play, you should be able to get it tomorrow, guys, for Madden 22. But this video, guys, I'm not going to show you new cards. I'm not going to show you what to do, what theme team to do, what to look forward to just yet in this video, guys. There's tons of influencers, you know, YouTube influencers, right? that are showing you guys all the new cards and all the new gameplay and all this and that and that's all fine and dandy okay i watched some of those videos too but this video guys, i'm just going to talk to some of you players that i know you guys i'm sure you guys love football right and you know you might watch it every weekend maybe you're a casual maybe you you know you play a little bit of madden but you like watching football a lot and you know you just like to play you know it's, it's like playing through your dream, right? Playing in the NFL, you know, play some Madden. Watch football on football Sundays. But there's a lot of players that they complain every year about Mutt. In terms of, they'll say to you, oh, the gameplay is garbage. Um, it's the same every year. The gameplay is the same, which is not true. <laughs> Anybody that's a top player knows the gameplay changes every year. And I know Man 22 seems like it's going to be the same as Man 21, but trust me, there's going to be nuances and there's going to be different animations and different things are going to happen. Trust me. Already, I saw a video where there's looks like fumbling is, is more um, is back. You know the uh, throw out of sack animations that we had a lot last year for Man 21. Well, for Man 22, it looks like fumbling from the quarterback before they're able to throw the ball and get forward momentum on the ball. If it gets knocked out of their hands, it's a fumble now. Whereas last year, we all know when that happened, most of the time it was a throw out of sack animation and it would either get picked off or it would just fall harmlessly to the ground, right? So it looks like this year that's going to be a big, big difference. And guys, there's always differences in, in the game every year. So that's a lie, okay? Um, but also just everyone wants to keep up with everybody else, right? It's keeping up with the Joneses, right? It's that same kind of... You know, FOMO, fear of missing out. Am I doing everything correctly? Do I have, who's the best players for me to get for my team? Who's everybody else using for their wide receivers? You know, guys, it's not that fun. Do your own thing, okay? That's all this video is about, guys. I just want to let you guys know, do your own thing. It's so much more fun, okay? Do your own thing. How many players, guys, let me ask you this. How many players... Did you come across in Weekend League, if you were on the PlayStation or Xbox, it doesn't matter. How many players did you come across in Weekend League that were playing with Daniel Jones well after Christmas? How many players did you guys come across? I'm waiting, okay? You can't... <laughs> I, I'm telling you right now, I probably came across maybe one or two players that were using Daniel Jones on a Giants team team. Maybe the whole year in, in Weekend League. Okay, I'm dead serious. I remember playing against him maybe maybe twice the whole year. You know, since, oh, obviously he came out on Christmas. So from Christmas on, that's when his main card came out. How many players do you know that you played against that were using Daniel Jones' card? Okay. Everybody was using Michael Vick, Lamar Jackson, Patrick, uh, Patty Mahomes. Right? You even saw a few Tom Brady's. You saw, you know, <clears throat> at the end of the year, RG3, obviously, right? You saw, you know, a bunch of other quarterbacks, you know, Aaron Rodgers, Brett Favre, right? Everybody was using all those cards, right? They had some of the best throwing animations. They were either the fastest with their legs, you know, Lamar Jackson, Michael Vick, etc. You know, how many players did you come across that were using Daniel Jones? Almost nobody, right? Do you know how satisfying it is when I go into weekend leagues with my Giants theme team and I'm dotting people up with Daniel Jones? Okay. <laughs> I literally had somebody, you know, he was talking through the mic. He was like, man, I can't believe you're using Daniel Jones, you know? And he had a Giants theme team. <laughs> he literally had a Giants theme team. And I think he was using, I don't know, he might have been using Patrick Mahomes or whatever, but... 
he was saying, I, I never see anybody use Daniel Jones, right? You know how satisfying that is? When I know I'm one of the only people <laughs> that plays with his card from Christmas on. I didn't use any other quarterbacks, guys. Once his card came out, his future ghost card came out at Christmas, this is the only card I used the whole year, right, the rest of the year. So all I'm trying to say for you guys is do your own schemes. Pick the players you want to pick. You don't have to pick every player that everybody else is picking. You know, I know there's uh, YouTube influ influencers out there, right? The influencers. You know, there's Popular Stranger, there's Xerxy and, and Gut Fox and all these other guys out there, right? That do all these videos, you know, showing you, you know, okay, you got to use this car. This is the best car right here. And that's fine and dandy. Don't get me wrong. They provide value information for you. But you as a player of the game where the, the, the main object is to have fun and then be competitive, right? I'm not going to play this game just to be competitive and not have fun. I, I don't do it. That's why so many players, you know, even before Rookie Premier came out, quit playing the game, okay? They quit playing Weekend Leagues. They didn't really play the game anymore, right? I played literally through last week. I played the game. I played every Weekend League through the last week, the last Weekend League, right? I played every Weekend League. Why? Because it's not a job to me. I love playing the game. I love competing. I love playing football. You know, whether I'm dominating people or I'm getting my ass kicked, whatever it is, I'm still having fun. I might get frustrated. I'm yelling. I'm, you know, I'm saying cuss words all, you know, what the F, you know, I'm getting cheated, this and that. Yeah, I get frustrated too. But at the end of the day, if you're not playing this to have fun, then why are you playing it? <laughs> you know what I mean? You have to ask yourself, why are you playing the game? So I'm just talking about all those people out there that love to complain about it and stuff like that. But it's kind of like, it's kind of your fault too. It's, don't get me wrong. EA has a lot of bad stuff that they put into the game. There's a lot of bad animations that will happen to you. Trust me. <laughs> I know. Okay. But also, some of it falls on the players in terms of if you're not having fun, that's not just EA's fault. That's kind of on you. Because most players, they're trying to have the same, you know. For example, if you're a Bengals fan, right? Let's say you're a Bengals fan. No disrespect. But everybody knows Bengals is not the most storied, uh, successful franchise in NFL history. Okay? I don't know when the last time they won a championship was. Okay? So they've been kind of, you know, irrelevant for the most part for since I've been alive. Okay? So, but if you're a fan of the Bengals, that's your team. That's your team. Represent them. You're going to have more fun playing the game of Madden, or I think you're going to probably have more fun, you know, maybe making a Bengals theme team. Get the Joe Burrow. Use the Joe Burrow. Okay? Don't forget about Lamar Jackson or Patrick Mahomes or Tom Brady's card or Aaron Rodgers or whoever it is who's the new hot shit card for the quarterback position. Use Joe Burrow. That's your team. Represent your guys. Have fun. And you know he's going to get a good card this year. You know he's going to have a good card and be relevant this year because he was playing well before he got injured. So you know they're going to give him a good card. So, I mean, hell, last year Dan Jones did not have a great year. It was okay, but he didn't have a great year. Everybody knows that. But he still got a good 94, you know, ghost card come Christmas, which is not bad. Right? And I was able to compete with his card the whole rest of the year. Okay? From Christmas through uh, August, I was able to compete every game. All right? Is there some games I may have lost because maybe he fumbled the ball, he got hit and fumbled? Yeah, but... Maybe a handful of games that happened to me, right? <laughs> Maybe a handful of games in dozens of weekend leagues that happened to me, right? So use the card. Use Joe Burrow. I believe uh, A.J. Green was one of their good receivers, right? Get the A.J. Green. You know, I don't know who your, all your great players are or whatnot. You know, Geno Atkins, I know, is another one. But go ahead and make a Bengals theme team. Or at least maybe do a 25 out of 50 or something like that. You know what I mean? Represent your guys. You're going to have more fun. It's much more fun winning the way, winning the games in your style. 
don't just do it in everybody else's style, okay? Don't just copy and try to be like everybody else, having the same schemes and the same plays and the same players. It's not, you're not gonna have as much fun. That's why I know a lot of people are like, oh, I'm not having that much fun anymore in the game. And then, uh, and then you find out, oh, they're running 335 wide every game because everybody else is, right? <laughs> they're running, you know, strong close because everybody else is. And there's some nice cheese, easy cheese to come out of it and stuff like that. You Use your own scheme. Use your own playbook. You know, I use a single back ace double wing formation a lot. I can count on one hand how many times I've seen that formation played against me, especially effectively during the whole season. You know, there's a dude, a Ravens fan. He's pretty damn good. He's always top 10, top 25 every week, whatever. I beat him <laughs> like twice. But he's beat me before as well. But he, he used kind of the same kind of scheme, you know. But, you know, you see that very rare. Almost nobody uses that scheme, right? Use your own scheme. Use your own playbook. You don't have to run everything else, everything that everybody else is running. So that's just all I want to say for this video, guys. I know Man 22 is going to be here any, literally any minute now, any hour now, it could drop. Uh, this is Tuesday night. I am streaming, I am uh, making this video kind of late. I'm just sitting here laying back, just laying back guys, just giving you some real talk here about how I think you guys could have more fun with the game. And just, it's much more satisfying and fulfilling doing things your own way. You know, it's just much more fun in my opinion. You might disagree, but it's much more fun doing things your own way, okay? So yeah, I was using Daniel Jones the whole year. How many times did you see him being used in the weekend league or hell in any any games in any season games or anything like that almost never right don't you don't have to be don't feel that pressure like you have to be like everybody else you have to pick the exact same cards that everybody else has it's stupid right it's kind of stupid <laughs> like i'm just gonna be honest it's kind of stupid because it, it's not as fun i know there's a meta i know everybody talks about the meta and all this and that but you can always beat the meta guys the meta can be very beaten. <laughs> it can be beaten a lot and easier than you think. Especially when everybody's using the same thing and then you get more and more used to it and then, oh, that doesn't work anymore. They gotta find out something else to do, right? I won so many games like that. Cause all they wanted to do was be stubborn and use 335 wide thinking, oh, I'm gonna use it. I saw it on YouTube. Everybody else is using this defense and then I'll just tear it up. You know, nine times out of 10, I'll tear it up. So. <laughs> You know, that, that's all the wisdom I have for you guys. I know this video is very long right here, but I just wanted to give you guys some real talk on it. And, you know, Man 22 coming tomorrow, most likely by, you know, tomorrow evening. Uh, I'm looking forward to it, man. I'm just very chill and relaxed right now. I'm about to get to bed. I got work in the morning. I work from home. And hopefully it's out, you know, by the time I get off, you know, sometime tomorrow afternoon, tomorrow evening. Um, and I'll see you guys for a lot more content, probably starting tomorrow night. I'm gonna, make, I'm gonna be making a lot of content. I'm gonna be opening a lot of packs, weekly elite fantasy packs, uh, maybe a legends bundle. I'm gonna be spending some money. The first, the first, the first few weeks of the game, guys. I'm gonna be spending some money. Not a ton, but you know, a good 40, 50 bucks at least in some, in some packs. You know, at least 40, 50 bucks. I mean, why not? You know. <laughs> I, 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 you need that boost at the beginning of the game, guys. So I'm going to have a lot of content coming for you guys. Probably some weekly Elite Fantasy Packs for 5 bucks every week. Uh, maybe a Legends Bundle or whatever the first promo is going to be. I'll probably buy that bundle. All right. Um, but that, and, of course, every level pack, all the level up packs that you have to pay uh, to, to open, I'll probably be getting each and every one of those up to level 50. So stay tuned, guys. I'm going to have a lot of content. Um, you know, I know everybody else has been, you know, in a, in, a, in a fever, at a fever pitch, getting all that information out for you guys. And that's great. But um, tomorrow starts it for me. OK, I'm going to have a lot of videos coming. I'm going to have I'm going to say, <laughs> don't be surprised if I post like four or five videos a day for the next month or two. I mean, I'm going to have a lot to say. And hopefully Man 22 is even better than it was for Man 21, which was highly successful. Alright guys, so the next video, peace out.